Hey, growers. Hey, I want to tell you about an awesome growing system called the Autopod. It's a low-maintenance, gravity-fed system which requires no power, pumps, or timers to operate. You can set it up for a single plant or multiple pots to automatically feed from a reservoir. You can install this particular system practically, well, anywhere. Now, I'm here on my sunny terrace with some heinously neglected leftover plants. Some haven't even made it out of their nursery pots. It's not pretty, I know, but hopefully they'll serve to demonstrate the versatility, efficacy, and forgiving nature of the Autopod system. First off, I'm going to wash some clay pebbles. You may be more familiar with the brand Hydroton to remove any dust and clay particulates that accumulated during shipping. And mixing these with coca coir at a ratio of around 3 to 1 coca coir to clay pebbles. The clay pebbles help to improve drainage, and this is important for the Autopod system to work to its full potential. This here is a root control disc. I lay it gold side down at the bottom of these 6.5 gallon pots and start filling with my clay pebble and coca coir mix. It takes no time to set up the system and install the plants. I have a friar's hat, a Moroccan chili pepper, a leftover Yolo Wonder sweet pepper, and a few refugees from the local garden shop in those small green pots. I'm watering them in with a mild vegetative nutrient solution as the coco coir and clay pebbles, well, they're inert. <laughs> they don't contain any nutrients of their own, so you can use soil-based potting mixes with the system too, but if you do go the inert route, you'll need to use a hydroponic nutrient. Always be sure to check the pH of your nutrient solution. 5.5 to 6.5 is the desired range, and I've got 6.2, so we're good to go. Water them in with the nutrient solution, one by one and hopefully we should have some much happier plants soon. The really clever part of the Autopod system is called the aqua valve. It's that blue float valve that you can see that controls the amount of water that each plant receives, allowing for dry periods as well as wet, so the plants really thrive. Obviously, we need to connect the 12 and a half gallon reservoir to the aqua valve somehow. We use the supplied six millimeter tubing, thread it through the hole at the bottom of the reservoir, and attach the supplied particulate filter. Set the reservoir on some bricks to raise it a few inches above the pots. Remember, gravity is essential in providing the power here. Another great thing is it's easy to extend the system. Each pot comes with its own special kit, including an aqua valve that sits at the bottom of the tray. All right, we're almost done. The reservoir is connected to all six aqua valves. Uh, I need to manually water for the first few weeks while the plants get established. And then after that, all I have to do is keep the reservoir topped up and the plants will be fed via the aqua valve. The Autopot is most definitely the lazy man's growing system, making it ideal for, um, well, yeah, <laughs> me. All right, six weeks later and check out that awesome transformation. We have a jungle and uh lots of peppers. Check out these awesome and rather freakish looking fryer hats. Whoa. Uh, I said this was a lazy man system, but you'll definitely need to invest in some plant supports as the plants grow huge. Uh, but I'm loving this system. It's simple to set up, easy to maintain, and it gives awesome results. I highly recommend it for beginners and accomplished gardeners alike. So don't forget to post your comments and questions at justforgrowers.com. You'll find lots more videos and articles there too, right? It's, uh, whew, it's time to get out of the sun. I'll catch you next time. Everest out.